Good morning, everybody. It is, how can I say a night to shine when it's 11 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> it's a night to shine. See this shiny? See Susan's stars? We are shining. We are here today to celebrate the opportunity for next year. Start right now to make your plans. If you're out cruising around thrift shops and you're looking for a dress to wear tonight to shine, the thrift stores are full of them because there were no proms this year because the proms right. got put off because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So it's given people a little different look at life. Chad, how's church going with y'all? We have started back. We're, we're meeting in person now, but we're meeting over in our fellowship hall where we had uh -huh. Night to Shine just because it's a bigger space. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of people but say that. Yep. We, are, we are one of the fortunate churches, Sherry. I bet you we've had 90% of our people return. I Back to You're too far for me to drive, but I love that idea. We've only got like 19 people were back in church Sunday. We should have had yeah. 80. Yeah. So we've got to get it. we got to get people comfortable coming back. Now, because you're social distancing, do you think that happened? Because we're social distancing. What's the difference? I think because we're an older congregation. We are too. And a good we bit of our too. folks, they were just, they were tired <coughs> of being mm -hmm. at home, haven't seen people in nearly yes, three yes. months. And we're doing that distance hug, you know. Nobody's hugging, nobody's shaking hands, nobody's patting, you know. And and we just decided, and, and when Susan got here, we're all talking social distancing. We're not quite six feet, but we're comfortable because we know we're taking care of things and being cautious and not touchy touchy anything and see what I got right here. I got these, I got these, I got these. What kind of wipes do you want? We got wipes. So, you know, we're doing all we can to protect ourselves. Do you wipe down your church before you have service? We have the Odo Band spray. Uh huh. So we spray everything down. Tell me about that because I down. see people using that. Tell me what that does. It kills everything it does and so and an ex-husband that treated it. you wrong yes <laughs> no oh oh <laughs> but just spray everything where do down you buy it? <laughs> see me after the show uh, i'm loving it this is gonna be a good day <laughs> okay you're back to church people are comfortable and they're feeling better you feel better if you're around the people you love amen doesn't it make you feel better? It does. A little bit of laughter. I miss it. A little bit of, and we can't hug, and we're not going to be hugging. Mm -hmm. But but the idea that we are back in our comfort zone. I like sitting down in church and glancing over and seeing somebody you enjoy being with. You know, you like that. Mm -hmm. And it's comfortable. So are y'all doing Sunday night service too? No, we didn't have Sunday night before this okay. happened. So. Right now, we're just doing worship service. We don't have Sunday school going mm -hmm, again. We've mm -hmm. not started back any other ministries other than our children's ministry. Uh -huh. We've started it back again, and, you know, we had a good turnout last Wednesday night for our, our VBS. We're going to be doing our VBS on Wednesday nights mm -hmm. instead of that typical Monday okay. through Friday or whatever schedule you would have. And we had a pretty good turnout of kids coming back. Cool, cool. Now, were you surprised when you got a call from Susan telling you that she had done something for you? I was very surprised. Uh, well, <laughs> it took her two tries, <clears throat> and it took her three or four or five more tries, because Susan, how long and how many times did you scratch through as you wrote a song for him? Well, actually, I just called him. I tried to call him, and I didn't have his number, so I called Carter Kay. Baptist Church, mm -hmm. looked it up in the ETC directory book, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and there it was. So I called on a Sunday, and yeah. this past Sunday, because yeah. I finally did the CD that I liked on Thursday. I went mm -hmm. to the studio. Mm -hmm. So I called Sunday and got his um, voicemail receptionist, mm -hmm. and I guess she texted you and mm -hmm. said, there's this girl named Susan Liebert who's trying to get a hold of you. <laughs> and um, so then uh, Chad called me Monday morning, quarter to nine, and said, hey, you know, I said, Sherry wants you on the show with me about this song that I've written. And mm -hmm. he said, yes. yes. Well, I think first you said, I'll check my calendar. Yes. And that took two <laughs> seconds, and he goes, yes. <laughs> so I said, wonderful. How can you tell Sherry no? <laughs> I know. Well, well, I learned that, too. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no, you can't yes. hardly. <laughs> she challenged me to the song. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting because the first time I told Susan I wanted to have her own, and she was like, <gasps> I don't know if I can do that. I don't know. And she always sat in the audience. Anytime we had something going on, she was here. And I'm like, you need to be up here. And mm -hmm. she, I don't know if 
I can do that. And now you can do that. You've done it before. You can do it again. My whole life story. Yes. Thank you yes, very much. Yes, she did. <laughs> and, and, you know, she had one of those love stories. And um, that's how she ended up in Gilmer County was a love story. You lost your husband to cancer and you wanted to be somewhere and what better community in the world to choose right. than right. Gilmer County. Mm -hmm. And the rest is history because you fit in so well by being involved in local things. Mm -hmm. And, and that's what it takes. You know that with, with your church. You know, these are folks, a lot of folks have been here forever. Mm -hmm. A lot of newcomers. A lot of folks who, um, you know, just landed here. And, and I said yesterday, we're selling something else to some people from New York. New York's getting smarter. They're coming to Georgia. And Susan, now how many years have you been down here? Fourteen and a half. Amazing. Yeah. 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 I just, like I said, I'm not moving <laughs> now i've heard about your driveway though i'm thinking as a realtor i'd really like to sell you something a little flatter with more parking and and then we could have events more often I'm sorry about that yeah sorry <laughs> but you know together we are going to talk about something that was very close to your heart and it was an opportunity that really <clears throat> doesn't come to every church, doesn't come to every community. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got involved in A Night to Shine? Absolutely. I've worked with special needs ministries before in the past. In fact, the church I was at before we moved up to North Georgia, we had started a ministry there and we worked with our local Easter Seals Day Center and mm -hmm. you know we would do events for them. We would do a VBS <coughs> for them and mm -hmm. you know, it, I just love that ministry. And then when we got up here, I was just talking with my daughter one day and I said, Emily, I said, why don't you see if we can get night to shine at the church? She said, Daddy, I don't even know where to begin. So the next day I just went onto their website and there was this link. Yeah. Would you like for your church to be involved? And I thought, what's it gonna <laughs> hurt? And basically it was an application. It was an application, oh. filled it out, like two weeks later, I heard back that the, we were still in the running, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then two weeks later, I got the, another email that says, we are so pleased to announce your partnership wow. with the Tim Tebow Foundation to host Night to Shine. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That's awesome. And, yeah. and God just opened up doors from there that have just been amazing. Yep, yep. Now, we're going to share some footage of your event this year. As it being your first event, you have certainly learned some things. You have learned that you cannot predict or control the weather. Absolutely. It was bitter cold. A little snow came in the next day or the night of. I can't remember how the we snow fell. We had some flurries during the event, not yeah. much. Yeah. But then the next morning, we got up to go back to the church to start cleaning, and it just it came, and we almost got stuck wow. at the church. Wow. Wow. With the snow, the amount that fell that And this quick. is based around Valentine's Day because that is a time of hearts. Yes. So, so there you go. Now, um, once you've done this event, are you required to send information to the Tim Tebow Foundation for them to kind of analyze how you did and what's going on? We do. Um, the video that your boys did, we sent that in to them. We had to upload it to them. And then our photographers, Crystal Nugent and uh, the other guy just... That name Lefty. just left me. Lefty. It happens, Lefty. doesn't it? I'm so glad he's a lot younger than me when that happens to him. But those good. guys did a fantastic job, and they, uh -huh. of all the pictures they took, which was probably hundreds of pictures, they had to choose ten. Really? Ten wow. each. Yes. Wow. And, and Cole, send what did you say in. his name was? John, John Crawford. Crawford. Sorry, John, <laughs> forgive me, but they did such a phenomenal job. But of all the pictures, they only could pick 10 oh, wow. of their best to wow. send in. Wow. And then I had a questionnaire that I had to fill out. Uh -huh. You know, like, what was your highlight of the evening? Tell us one thing a volunteer shared with you. Mm -hmm. Tell us something one of your participants shared with you. Mm -hmm. And so it was, it was a neat follow-up to the night. And it helps you just remember sometimes the little things that happen so quick. Yeah, yeah. You stop and reflect on those things, and it made the night. Well, this morning I was thinking about the fact that they got to ride around the parking lot in a limo. You know, that's pretty cool. Everybody likes to do that. And then there were food, refreshments. There was uh, basically a getting ready as far as makeup, hair, things like that. It was truly you could show up in your jeans and get dressed there for this event. Yes, and the cool thing about that, 
just as soon as the event was over, someone contacted my wife and said, hey, we would love to donate prom dresses for mm -hmm. next year. Mm -hmm. So I went the very next week and picked up six or eight prom dresses mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we can have our own yeah. little Almost fitting a boutique. Room. Almost yeah. a boutique yeah. 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 for next year. So yeah. again, you know, God opened up doors before the event and God's already opening up doors after mm -hmm. the event. Yep. Now, what about the guys? Who do you think really got into this? The, the women who got to dress up and fix their hair, or did the guys really like to shine? Sherry, it was both. You know, I think you remember the story I told you about the girl we met at the nursing home. Mm -hmm. She had just become a dear friend to my family, and we, we, just, we went to the activities director and said, if there's any way that Christina could come, mm -hmm. would y'all please get her there? Uh, well, her caretaker lives in Blairsville, mm -hmm. and she said, Pastor Chad, there's <coughs> no way I can, I can do it. Wow. She's like in her 90s. She wow. said, but I will sign the permission form if you can get somebody to take her. Wow. So I go to Rachel yeah. at, the, at the nursing home, and Rachel says, I would love to mm -hmm. take her. Well, Christina comes in, and she's there in the room getting her hair done and just grinning ear to ear. Wow. And then when we got to the end and she gets to the crown, she just could not wait to get her <laughs> crown on. Oh, and then when she got the crown on, she had to see me. Oh she my says, goodness. I want Mr. Chad. She yeah. wanted me to see her uh, yeah. with her, her crown. crown. Okay. But then there was this, this kid that was, uh, came over from Jasper. He had the biggest time dancing every song. He was out there <laughs> boogieing. And, you know, he came all, you know, his you know, coat on his tie. You know, in the Baptist church. I'm like, okay. Boogieing in the Baptist church. I love it. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But it was Jesus music. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Now, Susan, let's talk about the music. Because the first night you called me, you had done the recording. And within a couple of hours, you said, nah, yeah. it's not what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And you made up your mind to go back. Now, you chose the studio here in L.E.J.? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Uh, it's L.E.J. Studios. Mm -hmm. uh, it's owned by um, Michael, um, Michael Cornett. Mm -hmm. He is a songwriter, a singer, and an absolutely fantastic musician. Mm -hmm. And I go to his recording studio at his home, mm -hmm. but it's really set up beautifully. And um, I've worked with Michael in the past, and he's all, he gets me. He understands mm -hmm. what I want. The first try, it was, you know, I, I saw the, the program you had, and I saw the kids on the floor dancing. And what I wrote then was a little bit too waltzy, because mm -hmm. I was thinking dancing waltzy. Mm -hmm. so, but it didn't suit my, my voice and my folk music background. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I went, I thought about it some more. Oh, did I think about it? Mm -hmm. Can I show you this? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. This is the beginnings of, this is the anatomy of a song. It starts out with a lot of arrows and cross outs. Yeah. You know, and, and uh, thoughts. People often ask me, do you, um, you know, da da, <laughs> look yeah. at that. Yep. Yep. And people often ask me, um, do you think of the lyrics first or the music first? Mm -hmm. What I think of is, is the thought. Mm -hmm. the idea why I'm even planning to do this song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then the lyrics come first, and mm -hmm. then I put the music to it later, mm -hmm. and then I go to Michael, and he does his magic with his guitar and his bass and his keyboard, and we put the whole thing together, and I can even have copies made there, mm -hmm. and the labels are put on, mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a one-stop shopping yeah. for me yeah. with somebody yeah. who really understands what I'm trying to put across. And let me just show you, let me see, is this the, the finished, let me see, which one? I think this is the finished product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the finished product here. And I went to the studio and I, I sang it again with a different tempo. Mm -hmm. And I was pleased with the way Did it, it came out. Did it confuse you because you had started it one way? Did you kind of revert back to the first no, one? I or put, you, I you put that away. away. <laughs> I put that away, I said, no, no, no. Even though, and of course, Watching the program with you and Chad, I wanted to get all the talking points in. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that I, and that was a little difficult for me because honestly, and, and this is going to change for me, I have never been around special needs children or mm -hmm. adults. Mm -hmm. And after watching your program, I thought, you know, maybe I could do something mm -hmm. in there. Right. So, but never having had that experience, I had to really dig deep, mm -hmm. and I never thought there was another song in me. 
<laughs> but you challenged yes. me yes, that day on yeah, the show. I did. I went, Sherry challenges. <laughs> you step up to the plate and you I just did. darn well do it. I did. And so uh, that, was, that was the beginning of it. Yeah. But I didn't like the first take. I went back and I did last Thursday, mm -hmm. this song that you'll hear today. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm happy with it. And you know, it's interesting because everybody has something they're really great at. And um, I don't, you haven't met Freddie yet, but he's no. great with special needs clients. Oh, oh, that was okay. his life for 17 years. And he loves looking at their ability, not their disability. Mm -hmm. And he loved teaching them to cook. He loved teaching them to live on their own. He loved teaching them. And he would try to even teach them to sing, you know. And you yeah. think about people who are very insecure and don't believe they have it in them to sing. And then all of a sudden, that might be what you shine mm. at with them is maybe mm. next year yeah. you get a group of them together mm. and you lead them in song. Well, and I'll like show you a, a, a DVD of Freddie doing that with his clients as the client sat in the audience and he sang and they joined in and sang. So maybe that could be her little niche there's is to rhythm. teach folks to sing. Yeah, there's a rhythm to it. Mm -hmm. And I will mention also, um, I have a friend up in New York, uh, just north of New York City in Westchester County, and she has a daughter, Caitlin, that has autism, mm -hmm. pretty severe autism. Mm -hmm. She's nonverbal, mm -hmm. very quiet. They've tried to social, you know, get her into social situations, but she's always standing in the background. Mm -hmm. Well, they went to a night to shine in Connecticut. Oh, wow. The Grace Church in Connecticut. This girl who is, you know, sort of always in the Standoffish the, the, a little, little bit. Yeah, you know, just in the corners because mm -hmm. she was insecure a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Out there dancing away. I the love The whole it. night away. Yeah. And dancing slow dances with a boy. Yeah. And yeah. I'm thinking, wow, this girl has come out of her shell. Yeah. This is yeah. wonderful. And yeah. Nancy, my friend, whose daughter's name is Caitlin, mm -hmm. she was just thrilled. She knows all about Night to Shine, mm -hmm. the Tim Tebow Foundation. And she said, anything you can do, Susan, um, in your way, your special way, mm -hmm. uh, do it because yeah, it's a yeah. really wonderful yeah. um, charity organization and thanks to people like Chad, I mean, have really brought it to our mm -hmm. neighborhood here, sure, which is sure. wonderful, wonderful. And who would have thought about it truly in the hills of, of North yeah, Georgia? Yeah. You know, nobody ever thought about this Chad before. Did. <laughs> you, did. you did. Good job. And Emily, That's Emily. Good job. <laughs> now, when you produce the last CD and you listen to it, mm -hmm and you remember what he put into it and the clients and this and this mm -hmm. and this. We said we wanted to do a program and put it together and I've asked Cole if they can take the shots and the things and then they can do a new DVD with your music oh. and put it all together and mm -hmm. then we could put it on YouTube because wouldn't that be yeah. a great way to share your event with the whole world? Well, I did listen to the, uh, the, the music that was on the 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 program mm -hmm. and you know it was more disco and dancing and it was really you know up, up and to the right mm -hmm. my CD isn't like that it's more <laughs> like you're sitting in your living room with your earphones on listening quietly to the lyrics and the music and the message mm -hmm. so it's mine isn't like uh, you but know. it will put thought into people's minds. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it will. It'll certainly be a great save the date. Yes, yes yeah. and, and maybe it will make people think about what can I do to help somebody Absolutely. with special needs exactly. because you did it mm -hmm. and maybe you could get some more volunteers out of this. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody will come forward and say, you know, I never thought about doing something like that, but maybe I can make a difference. So, well, right now we're going to take a commercial break because that's what we do. We have to pay for our sponsors. And if you um, are looking for insurance, pick up the phone and call Donald Curtis at Farmers in Blue Ridge. And I can guarantee you, um, if you put all your package with him, you're going to save a bunch of money. So do that. Um, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes, and then we are going to present your song, okay. A Night to Shine. That you haven't heard yet. I haven't heard it and yet. And you haven't heard it yet. I haven't heard it Nobody's yet. heard it we yet. We may be up dancing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I we'll like see. It. I hope you like it. I hope so. I hope so. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, 
writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. But traveling internationally, know where you're going and what the environment is. Also, don't dress to stick out. Dress to blend in with the environment and the culture. Make sure that you put minimal information on your luggage tax. Airlines actually track your bags, which you can follow through your app anywhere domestically and internationally. I also have a medical plan. We have mobilized rescue system. These systems are the only integrated medical technology that can integrate to your phone and be used abroad and domestically for any medical emergency that you have. If you have any questions or concerns about travel security or training, please contact Type International. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. Okay, guys, Susan, this is going to come out over the airwaves to all our viewers, and you and I aren't going to be able to hear it because the audio here is not working. I don't oh, know what we're going to no. do. Oh, no. <coughs> no. If you turn it up, I can hear it in my earpiece, but you won't be able oh, to hear it. So we're going to have to figure out okay. a way. How can, how can Chad dance to this if we can't hear the music? <laughs> but right now, yeah. we want to share... And it is officially completed, done. You're not going to change it anymore. I have a copy for Thank you. Thank you. You're and not going to Now, alter this it. isn't the final, final. It is, but I haven't even had the, um, the labels put on yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I have to get the labels put on. So, And then I'm going to make as many copies as you need. 40, 50 copies, is that what you need? For each one that participated that mm -hmm. day. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, cool. No, oh, well. oh, that's okay. Okay, guys, here we go. Sit back and just oh. listen and just imagine that it is your night to shine and this is your first opportunity to be in a limousine. This is your first opportunity to have your own prom and it is truly um, something very, very magical. Sit back and enjoy. With my friends beside me and an angel to guide me, I found the beauty I knew was inside me. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This is our night to shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This is our night to shine With smiles on our faces And a twinkle in our eyes Girls in pretty dresses And guys in their bow ties We're shining more brightly Than the stars up in the skies Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine This is our night to shine Thank you, Lord 
Jesus, we praise you every day. You've blessed your special children in a very special way. We're laughing and singing and dancing the night away. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This is our night to shine. It's a night to remember. We'll celebrate our blessings and be glad. We thank you, Mr. Tin. We thank you, Mr. Chad. This is the best night that we've ever had. We thank you, Mr. Tin. We thank you, Mr. Chad. This is the best night that we have ever had. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This is our night to shine. <laughs> and you put bow ties in there just oh for sharing. Oh my gosh, I know. y'all, that no, was so you sweet. <laughs> So you, you got Chad and I both crying. Oh, my eye makeup super. will be down my face. Thank you. Awesome, 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 Thank awesome. You. Can't wait until the participants get to hear this song and get to have it. And for you guys who have special needs folks who were at this event that night, we would love for you to tell them it will re-air tonight at six o'clock. It will re-air at one a.m. Now, have we got the footage that we can show from the night to shine? Huh? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna oh. do that. Oh. Thank you. We got Kleenex, <laughs> yay. We are gonna try to pull that footage and, oh, and show so the sweet. night to shine. Because oh. when we think about that, um, that was a it was kind of one of those how you gonna make this happen deals and you made it happen and now that you have, you can't stop doing it. We can't stop. You're gonna be addicted to this. I see this happening. You're gonna be a, a shining addict. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the, the thing that I get upset me a little bit was it's such a great night and there were so many plans for start a ministry and then COVID happened and it's oh, like, yeah. God, that wasn't in our plans. No, no, this COVID thing, yeah. But, you know, it did help when I got that email that said, Here's the date for next year. Yes, yes. I'm like, yeah, God, yeah. we may not be be able to do the in-between, mm -hmm. but we can do the big. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, and, and I can't wait to get this in their hands yes. and say, save the date. Yeah, this save the night. date. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. And and I will tell you this from having, we had the Burnt Mountain Choir on here one day. And because Freddie had worked with all those clients, he, you know, they loved coming to see Freddie and they made me a necklace, they made him a necklace, it was just precious. And there were only like five of them here. Well then the next time I called, there were nine of them here. And then the next time there were 12 of them here. They, good news passes through the channel. And so they would go back and say, we got to be on TV, we got to do this. Mm -hmm. They will go back to their friends and their acquaintances and say, you get to dress up, you get to dance, you get to ride in the limo, and every year I see this growing, and I hope that it will certainly grow. But when we think about, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, there are some of the, the folks who participated who may not be here next year because they may not live through this year. There are folks with special needs who often end up with medical issues. And so there may be somebody who was shining this year who wouldn't have the opportunity now because of a medical problem. So so you have done something that is a forever life-changing event. And my brother, uh, who lives in Connecticut, I was speaking with him about the, the Night to Shine mm -hmm. and the Tim Tebow Foundation. And my brother, who's a real sports um, person, he said, well, you know, Tim Tebow was the best quarterback in Florida State mm -hmm. College or mm -hmm. University. Mm -hmm. He said that he was considered the best college football quarterback mm -hmm. and then after college, University of Florida University, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. sorry Florida yeah. but he went to there and then he uh, joined the um, the professional teams and he went to the New York Jets mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then I don't know maybe he didn't 
that didn't work out as well. Then the Denver Broncos. Oh, did he? But then he went to the New York Mets, uh -huh. the baseball team in New York. So he's, you know, he's trying. Yeah. So he's just a very talented athlete. Yeah. But I think uh, my brother said it's well known in the in the sports industry that Tim Tebow is a very faithful mm -hmm. person. Absolutely. And he gives he gives and gives and gives yep. to this organization, especially. And I was surprised to hear that. Night to Shine is all over the United oh, States yeah, oh yeah. It's all and over the world. overseas. All over the world. Yes. I was yeah. shocked. I yeah. had no idea. And it's because he had mm -hmm. a vision. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, I think that's something that we don't even get me started. But there are so many people who acquire wealth through not often hard work, maybe mm -hmm. a rapper or a song or something that they, you know, they didn't really work hard, but they had that, that hit. And they don't often give back. And I think that's the thing with Tim. He has given back mm -hmm. and given back yeah. and given back. Mm -hmm. And when I, everybody knows I'm opinionated. I'm an opinionated old broad. <laughs> when I see somebody kneeling and he won't stand for my flag and he won't stand for our national anthem and then I see Tim Tebow who's made all this money that he is sharing the wealth mm -hmm. and then if he were to kneel and pray before a ball game, they made a big deal about it. Mm -hmm. I would get livid. It drives me crazy because I, I understand that everybody has their opinions and everybody has their. It's like I was making fun of all my. This is this is my favorite place to eat, Jewish deli in Orlando. No, I'm Southern Baptist, but <laughs> my favorite place to eat was a Jewish deli. I had Jewish friends. I have black friends. I have Chinese friends. I have friends from every, you name it. Even New Yorkers, oh. <laughs> even New Yorkers, oh. but but we all have the right to stand for what we believe in, and that's what when he was praying on the field, some people were giving him some heat, oh, yeah. and some people were being very disrespectful, you know. But then you got this guy out there that can't even play football anymore, and he kneels and refuses to stand for the national anthem, and he gets mm -hmm. a gazillion dollar contract with a shoe company that I wouldn't buy a pair of shoe strings from, much less shoes, you know? And it's so weird how people look at things differently. Tim Tebow's done nothing but good. Mm -hmm. He has been good his whole life. He has done well, and he is sharing that now. And so he gets so much credit. Yeah, you think about, does. do you know a number mm -hmm. of lives that he has changed? Can you imagine the number of lives he's changed? It's countless. You know, because it's not just... How many just years has this been going on? Seven. Seven years, so. but it's not just his foundation. Mm -hmm. All the other work that he does mm -hmm. with orphanages mm -hmm. and, and hospitals right. all over, helping kids get what they he need. He is sharing the wealth. And he's sharing the love of God when he, he does is. this. He is. And he's unapologetic mm -hmm. in that I do what I do because of the love of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and to know his story, like I shared before, that... He was, his mom and dad were told, abort him. Right, oh, right. You right. know, but I they said, no, mm -hmm. we're yeah. not going to yeah. do that. And wow. look what God has done mm -hmm. through the life mm -hmm. of this young man. Yeah, yeah. It's an amazing mm -hmm. thing. But he didn't take all that in and just say, well, I'm special. Y'all bow down to me. Mm -hmm. He said, let me take what I've been given mm -hmm. and give it away. Right. And that's why we got to do Night to Shine at Carter K. Baptist because of a vision that he had for special needs people, mm -hmm. you know, and when they come to the prom, we call them our honored guests. Mm -hmm. They're not special needs on that night, they're mm -hmm. honored. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was an honor to watch them walk in the door. And it was kind of comical, you talked about the mink coats. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember the girl who, whose mom puts her coat on her as she's getting out of the car. Mm -hmm. But the second she saw <laughs> the red carpet, she just <laughs> tosses that coat and she is just proud to be rolled down. I love it. That red yeah, carpet. That yeah. is special. Yeah. And yeah. her boyfriend was there yeah. that night, too. And they, of course, everybody's crowned kings and queens of the prom. Mm -hmm. But it was special for him to stand next to his girlfriend and be king and queen mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. our prom. Yeah, yeah. There's so many amazing stories yeah. that come out of that. But thanks to, to Tim Tebow mm -hmm. and the Tim Tebow Foundation for mm -hmm. making it possible. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. And, and the idea that a little bitty church in North Georgia, that's not easy to find, I'll just tell y'all. I found it. But you have to go over the river, through the woods, into Grandma's house <laughs> to get there. And I did find the road that the church is on. And, and, you know, who, who would have thought of that? You know, if it had been the big First Baptist or the big this or the big that, mm -hmm. 
but you're out in the country and We're you had this country, vision. Yeah. Little bitty country church with a huge heart. Mm -hmm. You know, and when I went, when I didn't even tell the deacons. I was going to ask you, I, I can't remember if you told how your deacons reacted. You just pretty much took it on yourself. I took it on myself and went out on a limb. Yeah. And I get, you know, the bottom of the application and it says, what's your budget? And I'm like, I don't have a budget <laughs> to do this. So I requested a grant and I thought, Lord, if I do this and I get approved to host the prom, but I don't get approved for the grant, I'm going to be in trouble. You're in trouble. Yeah, those but, deacons are going to be yeah, nailing you. <laughs> but then I got approved to host the prom uh, and approved right. for a grant. So I called my chairman of deacons and I said, hey, I did this thing. Yeah. yeah. He said, what did you do now? Yeah. And when I told him, he said, that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah and the smiles on those guys' faces. Mm -hmm. And every one of those deacons were there that night to help us. Mm -hmm. And one of the oldest deacons stood outside the whole time. In the cold. In the cold. It was cold, y'all. I went it was to bad relieve cold. him. I said, yeah. why don't you go inside and warm up? He said, no, your place is inside wow. with a guest. Let me stay outside. Wow. wow. Couldn't have asked for just better folks mm -hmm. to come alongside of that vision mm -hmm. and say, we want to do something for our community. And your church jumped in for helping for decorating, for, for doing whatever they could possibly do. The church just, just took the vision. And as you remember, I couldn't even share it with the church because I was, I was so mm -hmm. emotional mm -hmm. that Sunday mm -hmm. that my wife had to get up and do it for me. Yeah. But as folks walked out that day, they were like, Pastor, we're so excited. Whatever we can do, yep. let us know. Yep. Yep. And they did, I mean, from kitchen help, to wherever we needed them, outside help, decorating help, mm -hmm. they were there. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they were in community support. We had folks, you know, just jump in to do our hair and makeup and mm -hmm. all sorts of things that we needed. But I suspect we're going to be growing this year. Oh, yeah, I hope so. So we're going to need more I folks. So. And I think once we get, Cole, have we found that? Can we share it? Pardon me? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, well, well, we'll get it because I know that you have a copy of it and we do have a copy and we'll get it. Maybe I can share it tomorrow. But when, when we look at these, was it 40 people who ended up coming? We were around 40. We had okay. some because of weather. Right. Some people were couldn't. afraid to get on the roads that night because it was late and dark and cold, miserably cold. And the weather, darn the weatherman, he was saying snow was coming. And so we all panic and... And obviously, if you had been right downtown off 575 or 515, it might have made a difference because people wouldn't have felt so nervous about it. But you are out in the country. We're off when the he says path. country church, he means it. They're out, yeah. But I want you to know, I went from a New York apple to a Georgia peach. Yes. So. <laughs> there you go. I'm, I there may go. not sound like a Georgian, <laughs> but, but uh, it, Georgia is on my mind and my heart. Yeah. But I yep. love New York too. Yeah. You know, I do. Yep. But I'm now at. Um, a, a southern girl? Yeah. Can I say that? <laughs> Did I do good? Yeah. <laughs> you done good. Police. <laughs> oh, Lord, how funny. When I think about, you know, um, my likes and growing up in, in between Orlando and Atlanta, living in the city, not being a country girl, but I can always come back to visiting my grandparents out in the country and, and those, it seemed like such long trips. And now you're like, well, it's just right over here. It's not really that far, but we used to do everything on two lane roads. And one day I'm gonna take you on a two lane trip because I don't do oh. the big road. Okay. I do the back roads. And so finding your church was really fun because I knew I liked the back roads. And, and that's something when you left New York and you moved here, mm -hmm. you probably haven't been on a lot of the roads that I drive every single day because mm -hmm. I love the back roads. Mm -hmm. You learn so much about our communities. You learn so much about the people. I've stopped and see somebody out picking their green beans and say, do you mind if I take pictures of you picking green beans? And they look at me like, lady, are you crazy? Uh -huh. And then the next thing you uh -huh. see my In the Garden DVD, somebody's picking beans. Uh -huh. But that's what country folk are about. You know, they like when you stop and say, that's a beautiful garden or, your flowers are gorgeous or, you know, and they like helping each other. They like jumping in there. Mm -hmm. And I would say next year, if you called on your church to bring their favorite dish, you wouldn't even have to ask a caterer to come because I bet your church has some amazing cooks in it. <laughs> I Absolutely. bet your church is loaded with amazing cooks. <laughs> yes. 
Now, do y'all have homecoming? Do you have fourth Sunday in June? Do you have a homecoming? What do you do? We we do ours is typically September, October, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we we don't know what that's going to look. Are we like invited? Yet. Absolutely. Well, I think we should make plans you, to come. You should make plans yeah, to come. Yeah. You know, there are so many churches that, and I'm so glad that you're getting back to normal. It's not quite normal, but our doors are open at, at Ball Ground First Baptist. And and um, I was sad. I talked to somebody yesterday, and she said our church doesn't plan on opening until October. Mm -hmm. And I thought, that's crazy. You know, and she said, well, because we have a lot of people, that and a lot of elderly people. We all have old people in church. Thank goodness for the old people in church. But just safe distance. And like you chose to use your, what do you call it? The fellowship hall? fellowship hall. Yeah. And so it seats enough people that you can safe distance. What about doing music and songs? Because they said a choir is one of the most dangerous positions to be in. So We, we haven't started choir mm -hmm. back yet. But, you know, I, I hear what the CDC says on that, Sherry. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and they say, you know, if you're so close, it's the projectile. Right. But preachers have been spitting on people for years. Oh, honey, <laughs> let me tell you, I'll take you to a, <laughs> one of my family funerals. Well, that's, oh, just a, yes. that's the way they baptize <laughs> people. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. but, but I'm so glad that the doors are opening to churches. I'm so glad that people are, and we feel better when you're back in church. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I was, for me, you know, I talked to folks on the phone with text, mm -hmm. email, to, to to check on folks. Did you do any but online services? We recorded ours. Mm -hmm. We were behind the eight ball on technology. Mm -hmm. You know, we had, we were about to present to the church our upgrades for our audio video recording and live stream mm -hmm. when we had to shut down. Yeah. Well, one of the first things we did when we came back was called a business meeting, and now we're rolling yeah. to get everything set up so we can live stream in in the future. Mm -hmm. You know, but I recorded, so I will confess. When you see me recorded, all you see is the, the jacket, the tie, and shorts. I you didn't see the shorts on, but I, <laughs> bow tie, I did wear a bow tie. Right. tie. Yes, yeah. I, I don't mind. Real no men wear, wear bow ties. a bow tie. It's like very it. formal. But Ooh, I was shocked, formal, Sherry, that yeah. first time that we got back together and just really how much I missed. Sure. Face to face yeah. fellowship. Yeah, absolutely. And that was it, I think, for the majority of mm -hmm. our folks. Mm -hmm. They knew they couldn't mm -hmm. hug yet, they couldn't yeah. shake hands, yeah. but they could stand apart, even wearing a mask, as awkward as it felt, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. just wanted they just wanted to talk to somebody. Right. Well, I went to see somebody yesterday who just lost a very close family member and I said, I can't hug you. I said, I want to, but I can't because I was in church Sunday, I've been around several people. I've been very cautious, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I, when I pump my gas, y'all, I look like I work for the uh, some do crime <laughs> lab. I swear, <laughs> you know, when I pump gas, but but I'm being very very cautious. But I'm also smart enough to be cautious because I keep Riker on Monday, mm -hmm. and because I'm hugging and kissing a little boy that's hugged and kissed by a lot of people, I don't want to share or spread, so I'm not hugging. But, you know, when we talk about you're going back to church, they're talking going back to school. How in the world are you going to distance children six feet, make them wear a mask all day? What are we going to do with the school system? And you said that y'all aren't doing children's church yet, or how yeah, are you we, handling we that? We haven't started children's church mm -hmm. back yet. Emily, my daughter, who's sitting there. It's hard there, to tell them they can't hug. <laughs> she kids she does a kids hug. pack, though. Yeah. Every Sunday, the kids can come in, and they've got a pack for them where they can sit with Mommy and Daddy. Uh-huh and they've got their color sheets, but it's got a Bible story. So mm -hmm. they're still getting okay. some Bible in there. Okay. And we haven't decided when we'll start back Children's Church, but we did start Vacation Bible School on Wednesday nights. And it was pretty amazing. My wife said they were about ready to give the instructions, you know, and mm -hmm. one of them says, oh, we know how to social distance. They had already it. knew. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They knew yeah. not to grab the handrail on the steps. Mm -hmm. They said, we'll just mm -hmm. ease ourselves mm -hmm. up there. So they knew. Good. You know what was expected. So parents of them. have done their job. But yeah. parents have they done said, yeah. their job. But yeah. again, yeah. It, just seeing those kids, mm -hmm. you know, and seeing them back in church, I yeah. could tell they were ready. Yeah. Well, sadly, through this disaster our country's been facing, we have seen a lot of young children commit suicide. Oh. There have been um, issues where a ten-year-old, a twelve-year-old. I saw a dad telling a story about his thirteen-year-old. Mm -hmm. And he said he was just lonely. He missed his friends so much. 
it is time we get back to reality. And the reality is you need your friends, you need your family, you need somebody to, and, and I'm not hugging anybody yet, and I'm not gonna hug anybody for a while, but it's very, very hard for a child to understand because when they go back to school the first day, they run down the hall and see their buddy they hadn't seen all summer, they wanna hug them. I don't know how they're gonna deal with that. You know, uh, Fogus has told uh, a lot of people that the shelters all over the United States are really emptying out. Mm -hmm. We're talking about wanting to hug something. You can hug a dog. That's right. All day long. That's right. And that's what's happened. The, the shelters are emptying out because now the, the parents are home more, mm -hmm. the kids are home more. They can take care of that, that pet, that dog or cat there you go. all yeah. the time. I just hope they all don't send them back when this whole thing is over. I know. But I think they'll, they'll get so connected Attached that they them. won't. But, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, but yeah. when you're saying about you need something to hug. Yeah. I have my five little dogs at home. Oh yeah, they sleep. One day we may let her show up with one of uh, five with her. Okay, uh, big little Miles, he's yeah. six pounds. Tiny, yeah. tiny, yeah. that would be okay. so sweet. Okay. Um, I had a little buddy that was the tiniest and he was my little, and when he passed away right in front of me, I said no more animals for me because I get too connected and I lay around and cry when they die. But, but it is a great time to connect with an animal. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yes. because you do have that time that you're down and, and, and you do get sad and lonely. And, and for kids, I never think about it because you just think a kid's just a kid, you know, but in reality, yeah. that loneliness sets in. Sure. And that's when problems and that's when, you know, and, and that's such an important thing right now for your, the parents to check what is your child doing on the internet because it's the worst time in the world for the evil people mm -hmm. to try to attach themselves to a child and, and become friends mm -hmm. on the internet. So you have to really, really watch what your children are doing. And it's a time that, you know, everybody's been stressed. And, and um, you gotta think about that kid that's sitting in the bedroom that's lonely and mm -hmm. keep them active, keep them doing something, teach them to cook. Well, they've learned, teach they, them to they, cook. they've missed their prom, they've mm -hmm. missed their graduation. graduation. Lots of weddings. I mean, mm -hmm. they're doing weddings in the backyard with just a few family right. members when right. actually it was a venue for 300. Right. So all of those things that were the other normal mm -hmm. is no normal anymore. Yeah. And the ball yeah. games and the workouts. But and the all Braves that. are back. The all Braves right. are back. The Braves are back. And there's going to be. Chop. Yes, yes, let's do it. Who cares what it says? We can't do that. Oh, that made me so angry. There's so many things going on that, that I look at normal. I grew up going to Robert E. Lee Junior High School in Orlando. Robert E. Lee. They have uh -huh. now changed the name to Lee Junior High School because it offended somebody. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You can't change history. You can't change the world. If we go back and read the Bible, it's going to be the same thing mm -hmm. every single time you read it. Nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. We have to look at life in the past. We have to learn from it. We have to share from it. Now, how did your daughter get involved in doing this package for the kids? She, um, she actually went to summer camp where she was a counselor. Mm -hmm. And she was on this path of business in college, you know, business major. And late one night, she sends her mom a text. And she says, hey, mom, we need to talk. Uh-oh, yeah. that usually yeah, you means my credit like, card is maxed oh, out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Send so, the money. <laughs> so my wife gets up, and she goes out of the room, and I'm like, okay, something's not right. So I get up, you know, and she just looks at me and gives me the okay, and she says, we'll talk later. And so I thought, well, she's fine. I'll go back to bed. Well, what happened is God got a hold of her heart, and she said, you need to be teaching. And she said, okay, God, if that's what you want me to do, I yeah. will teach. Yeah. And she says, told her mom, she says, I don't know if he wants me in public education mm -hmm. or children's ministry. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, why don't you get your feet wet at the church and do our children's ministry? Mm -hmm. And she said, I would love to. Mm -hmm. And so then, of course, you know, she starts up children's church, Wednesday night children's program. Mm -hmm. And then all of this happens and we have to shut everything down mm -hmm, there mm -hmm. but then we decided when we we started off with the drive-in services mm -hmm. and we said well, what if parents and did come people and park in your kids? parking lot yes, is that what they did it was the coolest thing they okay. participated in yeah, that yeah but she would just say hey text me parents when you get here and i'll just take the packet to your car mm -hmm. and she said i'll have my mask on whatever makes you mm -hmm, feel comfortable mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and she would just hold it out as far as she could mm -hmm. and they would take the packet and 
So the kid yeah, got the, the stuff. The kid got it. Yeah. And at North American Mission Board, they have coloring books that they'll give away. Wow. And so I had ordered like 60 of them months ago. Uh -huh. And then when I looked down one day, I said, for such a time as this, there's the stuff for our kids' okay. packs. Yeah. And yeah. so she and her mom every week pull out the pages, stuff the Ziploc bags, make sure the crayons are okay. Mm -hmm. And now, as the kids come in, they just know they grab there you go. their little kids' pack and yeah. they're there for worship. Awesome. Now, service is at 10? 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. And are you going to invite strangers in? Can yes. people come? I'm strange and I come in. <laughs> you know, yes, absolutely. I've been begging new people to come to Ball Ground First Baptist. Come and get to know what is normal for us is showing up and sitting there at your seat with your friends, with your family, and going to church. And let's get back to that. Let's Baptist get back to people it. People don't have strangers in their life. No, we don't. Everybody's no, we don't. a friend. <laughs> we don't. We don't. No, you don't know what a stranger is. No, right? no. Yeah. But we, if, if you're looking for a church, absolutely. You know, log on to our website, www.cardicabaptist.com, and you can see all about us, mm -hmm. you know, and check us out. And if they want to volunteer next year, y'all save this date, February the 12th. And from restaurants who might want to volunteer some food, from people who, the beauticians, from the nail salons to, um, what was, if you had to look back and say there was one thing that we were lacking, we needed more of, was there anything? I can't think of anything right now other than maybe volunteers to be buddies. Okay. One one thing that happened because of, of the weather. The weather, yes. Some of the buddies were not able to make it that night. Mm -hmm. And at last minute, you know, sickness or whatever reason. So maybe a few more volunteers to be buddies. Because mm -hmm. every attendant needs to have Needs that. to have yes. a buddy. Yeah. And we wound up with, with some having two or three Mm -hmm. buddies and it's mm -hmm. kind of hard for them to go through and yeah. really stick with them because your goal is to let them do everything mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. whether you take them to get their shoes shined or hair and makeup done or go to karaoke mm -hmm. sit down and eat with them and then of course dance with them mm -hmm. go to the limo ride and if you've got two or three buddies mm -hmm. that you're responsible for it's kind of hard sure. to do everything with them, so right. some more volunteers for that that area, mm -hmm. you know. And like I said, we had a lot of adults that came, but I know we have a lot of students in the Gilmer County school system that mm -hmm. have special needs. We want those parents to, to bring their kid to yeah. be a part of yeah. it. Yeah. And again, go to our website. You can send me an email and just say, "How can I be a part mm -hmm. of 2021 Night to Shine?" And I'll find a spot yeah. for you. And I like the idea that you had that quiet room. Yes, so if the children yes. were a little overwhelmed, they could go into the quiet room. Mm -hmm. yes. That was a great idea, yeah. I and think. Yeah. I, you, thank you for saying that because yeah. that reminded me, we would love that. a therapy dog mm -hmm. next oh. year. We had oh, two. Oh, we can take care we of that. We can do that. We can take oh, care yes. of that. We had two yeah. girls from Brunel yes, we who can do volunteered that. their mm -hmm. time and came over and sat in there. And they're but, registered therapy dogs. Mm -hmm. not yes, a, yes. Call it a, a we want a registered therapy dog. That knows how to behave. There are guidelines from the Tim Tebow Foundation. Mm -hmm. So we have to follow those, mm -hmm. and that is one of them. It has to be a registered mm -hmm. therapy dog, right. but we would love to be able to add that to that quiet. There's a lady there. who does the veterans' dogs. Yes, yes. Sharon. She well, would be guess perfect. what? She we trains. just volunteered. She just got <laughs> volunteered. You know what <laughs> like that feels like, don't you? Oh, I know. Chal <laughs> we'll challenge her to bring I said, it you're going to write a song. She said, what? <laughs> We've done I it before. I was amazed, too, <laughs> Sherry, after it was over with, and you, you're out in public, and you run into to parents, caretakers who were there at, at that night. They said that their kid was still talking about oh, it. Sure. Oh, yeah, Just sure. going on and on. Yeah, yeah. You know, where's my pictures? Mm -hmm. I want to go again. Is it next weekend? Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, all these things. So there was an impact made sure. that night, but we want it to grow. Yeah, yeah. And once we get the photos together, we've, it's going to take a little time, but if we can get as many photos as you can give us, and then we have Susan's music, and we can get a DVD. I know somebody sitting right over there in the booth that will volunteer to do that, won't you, Cole? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> he can do that, and then we can post that on YouTube, and then everybody, you know, their parents, their friends, their family, no matter where they live, will be able to see that night. 
and and it was a night that you yourself you were shining you were shining you were glowing because yeah. every time you talked about that you just were so excited that this had happened and it truly was one of those miracle things because not every church gets chosen no. not every church gets the full scholarship that you got so that was amazing you know that was that was really really cool that was so, a god thing that was a good job young man <laughs> Thank good you. job young man glory Yes, God. yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And if y'all want to know how to find Carter K Church, you just go out there about Stanley's store and you turn left and you go out about mm, two miles. About two miles. And turn left again. And turn left again on Riverwood Road. <laughs> Am I good? But there's a big sign <laughs> on Roy Road that says Carter K Baptist Church. When you see that sign, take the left and the church is up there That's on right. the right. That's right. And be careful when you turn at Stanley's store because when you come back out, it's a very dangerous intersection. Mm -hmm. And I've learned to be very cautious there. But um, thank you for being part of this and thank you for doing everything you did. And Susan, you are shining because absolutely. you have presented thank you. Thank the perfect you. song to compliment a night that was absolutely amazing. And um, when you think about this night is gonna happen again, there's gonna be another opportunity. So if you attended this year, Please, if you go to the day rooms, if you go to Burnt Mountain Center, if you're involved in the public schools, please tell all of your friends who would qualify to be here. And again, the age limit, was there no? 14, 14 and up. Uh, so uh, there's no upper okay, age okay. limit. But let's also remind folks, is this is not just a Gilmer County thing. Right, exactly. Surrounding counties, because mm -hmm. the next nearest to us was Blairsville and Woodstock. Right. Right. And when Woodstock filled up, mm -hmm. then some parents were left scrambling trying to figure out where to take their, their kid to. Mm -hmm. Well, feel free to come because we right. our max is 75. Okay. And so we could take more than what we, we had last go. year. There you go. So again, can you give the phone number for the church, please? 706-635-1090. There you go. And call and, and be informed if you want to volunteer, if you want to be a part of this, if you want to bring your special needs person. Um, if you, you know, the cool thing I really loved is that you did offer the opportunity for the caretakers to just chill. Yes, there is a chill. room for them, yeah. you know, where they come in. We, we fed them. We also had massage therapists there that night from Heaven Sent Massage. Mm -hmm. They offered massages for those caretakers. Mm -hmm. But it was a night for them too just to, <sighs> yeah. to breathe yeah. a little bit. But it was still right there on campus. So if they wanted to go out and see mm -hmm. the dance mm -hmm. floor, mm -hmm. they could go see the dance floor. They could walk around to the different rooms. But it was just a time for them to rest, relax, and then maybe to talk mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to other caretakers. Right, right. And, and I can tell you, watching and taking care of a, a parent, when my grandmother got dementia, it wears you down. Because I would talk to her, calm her down, everything would be great, I would go home, and within an hour, the nurse would call and say she's really confused again, I would have to go back. So I know that it does wear down, and I wasn't a 24-7 caregiver, but I was just that one. And it does wear you down. So um, the caregiver's amazing that you include them. That's awesome. Okay, y'all, tomorrow I'll be back. We're getting ready for the 4th of July. I'm excited about this. Um, you know, when we think about Independence Day, you see these flags. We support America. We support our country. We pray to God every day that he will step in and heal the hurting in our land. Amen. And um, I hope that one day we look around and say, wow, everything is back to a good normal today. So thank you for being here today. Thank you. We're going to leave you now where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet from New York and from <laughs> South Georgia and from just Orlando and Atlanta and then back to Jasper and back to Ball Ground. My goodness gracious. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. <laughs>